morning there. Mike here at ANSRV here in Midland. Another beautiful day in June. Today I'm going to show you something that just came in. They call this a destination trailer. Basically it's meant to be towed, you know, once or twice to a permanent spot and kind of stay there. So uh, they're big. This is a 38 RLB, so we are living. This is a four slide unit uh, with two bedrooms. So let's take a look. Show you around the outside first. So here, 38 RLB extended season package. That goes over some of the warranties that they have on there. Tires and wheels. So we have the sliding glass door here. Then we have an entry right to the bedroom up front. So this is a front bedroom, rear living. This is that sticker I like to show you as it goes over all the information, the weight, the total length, almost 42 feet. And the look up front isn't spectacular because it's rear living. So you have a flat front face on it, two big 30 pound propane tanks and then your battery uh, there. This is your exhaust for your hot water heater. So on the off door side here we have our first slide out rack and pinion slide out system. Same on this one. So this is your big slide out on the off door side and then here we have the biggest. So they all come out different lengths. If you can see from here, this one is larger, but it doesn't come out quite as far as that second one there. So here's the windows. So, have, you know, it's rear living. So you have windows here on the back side of the camper. It does come with scissor jacks. And then here we have one slide on the door side. And again, all these are using the rack and pinion slide system. So I'll give you a little shot of that. Very reliable, easiest to work on if there is an issue. And a lot of windows here. So enough of that, let's go inside and take a look. So we'll go in through our that awning nice and big covers both doors so we're going through our sliding door here and take a look at the living room first so here we have the hangout area start out we have some freestanding table and chairs this is a new color for the table nice white kind of matches the kitchen cabinets and I would like to point out on Pumas too, they do distinguish the cabinets. So you have white cabinets in the kitchen area and then tan, tan cabinets throughout the rest of the camper. So here we have our seating. These do have little storage underneath each chair. So that's kind of cool. Cards, things like that. Here we have our theater seating. And that is directly across from the TV. So you have a perfect viewing area from your theater seating. Here we have our hide -a bed Thomas Paine couch. Turns out to a comfortable bed. You need more sleeping. Here we have some storage above that couch there. There's your ceiling fan. And your view from sitting in the theater seating. So you have your fireplace there, a 39 inch Furion LED TV, and your sound bar with the head unit, Bluetooth compatible, and then we have some storage behind the TV as well. So this TV here is on the swivel mount, has the lock for when you're traveling. And then we move on to our pantry. Some nice storage there right by your oven and this is a residential gas range so you have your four burner cooktop cast iron grates 
stainless steel, and you got your big oven here. Probably the nicest range you'll ever see in a camper of uh, this price range. Some storage above there. Here we have our microwave, some more storage. Then we have our GE residential stainless steel refrigerator. Nice storage there. And then our kitchen island. This is your residential faucet here. Your big farm style stainless steel sink with the covers. So you can use this all as workspace also. 25 year warranty on their flooring. That's always a nice thing. They always put cool little hanging fixtures, metal. So here we work our way around the corner and we have our second bedroom. So this is a like a mid bunk type room. So you have your high to bed sofa. And then up above you have the bunk. That folds down, a nice additional sleeping area, and we have our closet here in the room, some nice storage there, TV backer, so you put a TV right across from the couch here, those are all your hookups. As we leave the second bedroom, we go into the bathroom, oh, never mind. Another closet, another storage area, very nice. So there's not much storage on the outside of this unit, which is kind of the trend, more storage on the inside, which a destination camper is gonna be the, the best thing. So here we have a motion activated light, as well as our other lighting, dome. There's your fan, nice big shower. Take a peek inside there. So this little rubber band type thing keeps it closed during transport and then it has a magnetic edge to keep it closed. So nice glass doors, nice huge shower. And we have our sink, medicine cabinet, more storage here in the bathroom. Toilet roll dispenser, and we have the toilet here in the corner. A oh, nice layout, nice, nice setup for the bathroom. Then we go into your queen bedroom. So here we have your, there's the screen for the sliding door. When they come transported, they have it here on the bed. So you have your walk around queen bed, plenty of storage there on each side. Easy to make the bed. Here we have your wardrobe. Tons of hanging space. Again, a lot of storage on the inside of the unit. And then here we have a big cabinet. Storage, and also it's a setup for washer and dryer. So a lot of people that have these destination campers like to have all the amenities. So here is where the washer dryer would go. And then again, another TV backer right from the side of the bed. We got some storage there. And last but not least, we'll take a look under the bed. So the storage compartment out there is what this leads to. So you have access also under the bed and it does have struts, so nice and easy to lift up and get to. And then no carpet in the bedroom. So as I was putting out the slide, and I'll show you, it does look like it has a memory foam bed, which is nice. I think manufacturers are kind of springing for some nicer mattresses in some of the units. So no carpet, so the slide out's on wheels. Obviously carpet there where it goes out, but no carpet where you're gonna be stepping. So hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because I will have more here in a little bit. Thanks for watching.